Google AdSense Payment. How to add bank account in your Google AdSense Payment account. So, nakareceive ako ng mga questions from my existing videos kung yung mga uh, bank account pa nila is pwedeng i-add sa Google AdSense Payment as new payment method. Well, ang reason kung bakit may mga ganong questions is nagkaroon ng recent update si Google Support. Ito yung website niya. Na yung Western Union, uh, karamihan kasi sa mga nakaka-receive ng payment dito sa Pilipinas from YouTube or from Google AdSense is nare-receive yung payment through Western Union. Ngayon, um, hindi na rin siya magiging available moving forward. Nakalagay dito na yung, um, this is for new YouTubers na hindi na kayo pwedeng mag-add ng Western Union as form of payment. While yung mga existing YouTuber naman or yung nakapag-enroll na ng Western Union dati pa sa Google AdSense payment, uh, sa ngayon nakaka-receive pa rin naman ng payment. However, nakalagay dito na we recommend that publishers currently using Western Union switch to another payment method before payments through Western Union stop in early 2021. So, mag stop na si YouTube ng pagbayad through Western Union early 2021. So, hindi natin alam specifically kung kailan ito mangyayari kasi walang date or month na nakalagay dito. So, pwedeng first quarter ng 2021, which, ne which is next year, pwede na mag-stop yung payment through Western Union. So, sa mga existing YouTubers or sa mga bago, uh, dapat nang i-add yung bank account sa Google AdSense payment. So, ang ginawa ko is nag-inquire ako sa iba't ibang banks like uh, BPI, BDO, Metro Bank, Land Bank, PNB, Express Bank, and a lot about sa eligibility na makareceive ng international wire transfer or remittance. And from there, uh, nag-confirm yung BPI, BDO, uh, Land Bank, and PS Bank na yung regular savings account natin sa kanila is eligible na makareceive ng international wire transfer. And dito sa conversation ko with BPI, binigay pa nila yung um, BPI SWIFT code na to. And yung SWIFT code na to is kailangan natin i-enter dun sa pag-register natin or sa pag-add natin ng bank account sa Google AdSense Payment. Sa BDO, ganun din. Ito yung sinabi nilang ilagay ko na uh, bank name. Ito naman yung SWIFT code. And kung kailangan ng address, um, ito yung kailangan natin ilagay. Doon sa Google AdSense Payment, hindi naman nag-require ng address. So, okay na yung BDO Unibank na name for BDO. And then yung SWIFT code is this one. And then provide na lang kung sino yung um, account owner and kung ano yung account number sa BDO. And for the rest, uh, like for PS Bank and Land Bank, uh, they confirmed na pwede namang makareceive ng remittances or international wire transfer sa mga savings account natin sa kanila. However, for other banks like PNB, East West Bank, uh, and Metro Bank or other bank, um, hindi pa ako nakareceive ng confirmation kung pwede bang makareceive ng international transfer yung mga savings account. Pero sa inyo, i-double check nyo na lang din kahit sinabi ko na pwede yung BPI, BDO, Land Bank, or uh, PS Bank. Mas magandang i-double check nyo mismo sa branch ninyo kung saan kayo nag-open ng account kung eligible ba talaga for international wire transfer yung account ninyo. Like for uh, Land Bank, uh, sinabi nila na pwede naman daw mag-deposit ng remittance sa Land Bank ATM savings accounts. Pero may mga sinabi pa silang hindi para sa AFP or PNP pension funds. So sa inyo, i-double check nyo baka yung savings account ninyo is uh, may special siyang rules or exclusion na hindi eligible para makareceive ng remittances abroad. And now we will proceed uh, mag-add na tayo ng bank sa Google AdSense payment. So ito yung Google AdSense account ko and nandito na ako sa payment section. So gamit ko ngayon yung computer ko. Sa inyo, pwede nyo rin naman gamitin yung cellphone ninyo. Basta punta lang kayo sa Google AdSense na account ninyo and proceed sa payment section and click nyo tong uh, manage payment methods. So, I'll click Add Payment Method. So, i-click ko tong Add New Wire Transfer Details. And may mga hinihing information dito like Beneficiary ID, optional lang naman to, Name of Bank Account, Bank Name, SWIFT, BIC, ito yung codes, account number dun sa bank account na yun. And before we proceed, most likely curious ka kung Ano yung kaibahan ng mga bank accounts, especially for, for charges? So, sinerge din natin yan. 
So, andito ako sa page ng BPI. Uh, ito pa yung lumang URL nila, bpiexpressonline.com. Pero dito nakalagay yung uh, details about the charges. So, for Swift remittances, ito yung charges niya. Kung makikredit siya sa peso account, 150 pesos yung service charge or yung commission na makukuha ni BPI. And for every 200 pesos, meron pang 60 cents na charges for documentary stamps. So, ibig sabihin, let's say, uh, actually, kinumpit ko na dito yan. Kung meron kang earnings na 20,000 pesos, dinivide ko lang siya sa 200. And then, tinimes ko lang siya sa 60 cents. So, kung 20,000 yung earnings mo, 60 pesos yung charge for documentary stamp. Again, sample lang naman to. So, let's say, uh, ano kukuha mo is 50,000. For example lang naman to. So, yung documentary stamp uh, charges will be 150 pesos. So, sana tama yung competition ko. Dinivide ko lang naman yung possible earnings sa 200. And kung magkano yung nakuha nyo, times nyo lang sa 60 cents. Which is yun yung charge for every documentary stamp. And this is for BPI. Well, for video, mas mababa siya yung nakita ko. Uh, nakalagay dito na video remit service fees for remittances course through SWIFT. Uh, for incoming remittance, ibig sabihin papasok yung pera, may remit as US dollar. Kung peso account yung account mo, uh, yung service charge niya is 100 pesos. Plus, yung katulad sa BPI na 60 cents for every 200 pesos dun sa um, ipapasok na pera. For dollar account naman, kung sa inyo, dollar account yung meron kayo, mas malaki yung charge niya, like $5. I think this is around 200 plus pesos. Depende sa uh, rates. So, double check natin. So, ganun nga siya. For 5 US dollars to PHP, currently naglalaro sa 242 yung charge. Yun ay kung sa dollar account, papasok yung pera. While for Metro Bank, uh, nakalagay dito yung electronic fund transfer charges, foreign bank to Metro Bank or through SWIFT Correspondent Bank, uh, foreign currency transfer to uh, Metro Bank PHP account, itong pangalawa, may 100 pesos na charge din or service fee. Hindi rin kasama yung documentary stamp tax for foreign exchange. Again, yung documentary stamp tax, ito yung uh, 60 cents for every 200 pesos. Well, for land bank naman, andito yung information about uh, the transfer from an individual or financial institution sent through remittance partner or SWIFT. Yung SWIFT, ito siya, Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunication. So, yun pala yung ibig sabihin niya. Andito yung details about the charges. And nakalagay dito na for credit to account with LBP, LBP is a land bank of the Philippines, uh, yung bank commission is $5 for USD account. While for peso account, 50 pesos daw yung charge plus uh, documentary stamps na 60 cents for every 200 pesos. And aside dyan, uh, may mga nakalagay pang ibang information dito like uh, for credit to other bank, $15 per peso, $150. So, pwede nyo i-check to further like meron pang ibang mga information dito uh, via PesoNet and so on here. So, yun yung mga na-research ko sa iba't ibang banks about differences in charges. So, sa inyo, pwede nyo rin i-double check kung magkano yung magiging charge. And also, aside sa service fee na to, naglalaro din sa exchange rate like per BPI, ito yung conversion nila. For BDO naman, ito yung conversion nila. Nagbabago-bago to every day. And for Metro Bank, ito rin naman yung conversion nila. So sa inyo, kung meron lang naman kayong isang bank account and hindi nyo na masyadong concerned kung magkano specifically yung charges and yung exchange rate, so go ahead and enroll nyo na rin yung bank account ninyo. So yun yung gagawin natin. Uh, balik na tayo sa Google AdSense. So for Beneficiary ID, optional lang naman to. So hindi ko nalalagyan ng info. For name on bank account, syempre ilalagay ko rito kung sino yung owner ng bank account na yun. And then for bank name, um, actually ang ilalagay ko rito yung bank is yung BPI. So, napapaisip ako, ilalagay ko ba is BPI lang or Bank of Philippine Islands? Actually, sinerch ko yung Swift Code Philippines and marami dito ang lumabas. So, inopen ko siya isa-isa. And for BPI, um, 
normally ganito yung ina-enter nila. So, i-copy ko to. Same with uh, Money Max. Ganun din yung pagkakalagay niya or pagkaka-enter niya dito. Well, for the swiftcode.com Philippines, Bank of the Philippine Islands lang yung nilagay niya. Pero sa akin, nasundin ko na lang to since dalawa naman yung nakita ko may ganito. So, paste ko dito. So, for BPI, Bank of the Philippine Islands ang nilagay ko. Sa inyo, kung ang um, pinalalagay nyo is a PNB Land Bank or BDO, for BDO, ang ilalagay nyo is uh, BDO Unibank. Dapat meron nito. Um, actually, binigay na siya sa akin dito. So, ito siya. BDO Unibank Incorporated. Tapos, for the rest, pwede nyo ibigay yung uh, full bank name and also yung acronym niya. Like for this one, for DBP, ganito rin siya ilalagay. So, balik tayo dito. And then, for SWIFT BIC, so, i-copy ko lang ulit yung binigay sa akin. Copy. And by the way, for the full list or details about the SWIFT codes, itong mga to, um, ilalagay ko yung mga links na to sa description sa baba. And also, ililist pa ko na rin to sa baba. And for account number, um, ilagay ko na rito yung account number sa BPI. And retype the account number. So, I suggest wag nyo siyang i-copy-paste para ma-make sure na tama yung nilalagay ninyo. Or, uh, let's say, hindi nag-match. At least, alam nyo may correction dapat na gawin. And for Intermediary Bank or FFC or FBO, honestly, hindi ako ganun ka-familiar sa mga to. So, hindi na natin ito papakalaman. Um, I-check ko na lang tong set as primary method. And by the way, may mga possible questions kayo uh, kasi may nakalagay dito na to receive payouts by wire transfer, contact your bank for exchange rates and fees. Which is yun yung ginawa natin. Uh, Nag-check muna ako sa bank bago ko i-enter dito yung details na yun. And nakalagay dito na bank account must be located in the Philippines. Yes, located naman sa Philippines yung bank account ko. And in US dollar currency. Actually, hindi strictly na kailangan US dollar currency yung account mo kasi karamihan sa atin, peso account yung account natin sa mga bangko. And may napanood na akong ibang uh, YouTuber na gumawa ng video na in-enter nila yung peso account nila and pumasok pa rin naman yung payment kahit hindi US dollar yung currency doon. And ang pinaka-importante dito is as long as kinonfirm ng bank kung saan kayo nag-open ng account na eligible for remittances yung account ninyo, I think good na na ilagay yung account number dito as payment method sa Google AdSense. So, check ko na to. So, ibig sabihin, uh, dito na dapat ako makaka-receive ng payment moving forward sa Google AdSense. And i-click ko na tong save button. And kung mapapansin nyo, may primary na dito. So, Pwede ko pa rin naman itong ibalik sa Western Union. Pero ang gusto ko kasing mangyari is moving forward, dito na dapat makareceive ng payment sa BPI account na to. And that's it. Sana nakatulong tong video na to. Please let us know by clicking the like button. And kung may naisip pa kayong ibang questions or topics na pwede namin i-share online, please let us know by providing a comment below. And ito pa yung mga videos na pwede nyo i-check online. I hope na makatulong to. And this is Lou from Invest Library. Until next time, bye bye